Once upon a time in a land far, far away, they lived a girl named Goldie. That's me. I just wanted to play. And so I left my home to take a little walk, for it was a beautiful day and just past 10 o'clock. As I walked past the trees and animals all around, I took a second look to be sure of what I'd found. For in the distance up there, there was a little home. It was red and looked so nice, and I was tired of being alone. My feet were starting to tire, and I was thirsty as could be. So I went up to the house, not expecting what I was about to see. Hello there, little girl, I called. I knew I had her fooled. As she would try, as she would try to get closer, my plan would not be overruled. And so into the house I walked, hoping to find a drink. But what I found appeared to be a sweet old lady, and I knew not what to think. As she came closer, I knew I had to act, for I was dressed to fool her, and I was hungry at that. Come closer, little girl, let me see you over here. Oh, you look delicious, and I'm starving, my dear. I ran as fast as I could once I figured out his plan, for that sweet grandma was a wolf and wanted to eat me as fast as he can. So my plan sort of failed as the girl ran away. She screamed her head off, maybe more kids will come today. I couldn't believe he tried to eat me. Boy, was that a close call. But I was still thirsty and even more tired after all. And just as I slowed down in the distance, I saw a house that was covered in candy. Of course, I was in awe. I could hear footsteps getting closer. Was this what I've been waiting for? As I tried to make the stew, I couldn't help but want to add more. And just then in this... I saw, in the distance, a girl. She looked simply scrumptious, her hair in a pretty pink curl. Hi there, my darling. Could I get you a snack? I was hoping she'd say yes, and then I could use my plan of attack. I thought she seemed nice, that old lady inside, so I walked right in, my eyes opened wide. But it turned out she meant more bad than good. As I went to sit down, close to me she stood. Here's your drink, little girl. I told her so sly. Then I mentioned a stew I was dying to try. It's good as it is, but it could be made better. Maybe if you came closer and took off your sweater. What do you mean? I cried out loudly. I had a bad feeling. She wanted to eat me proudly. You see, my stew needs something beyond just the veggies and broth. I was thinking of blonde. You're crazy, you witch. You cannot eat me. I'm getting out of here as fast as can be. What a close call. Today has not been my day. No more talking to strangers. I'm tired of running away. It's getting late, and I'm hungry at that. There's a house up ahead. It looks empty to me. Who does that? No one answered the door, so I just walked in. The house was empty. I wondered where they'd been. So I grabbed myself some porridge and sat in a little seat. I knew I shouldn't be there, but I was really discreet. As I finished my snack, I grew tired as could be, so I looked around for a bed and surprisingly found three. The first one was too hard, the second bed too soft. The last bed was just right, so I slept on the loft. Woken up a while later, the bears had returned, and it was at that moment that a valuable lesson I learned. You can't just come into my house and sleep in my bed. It isn't even yours. Maybe you should leave instead. And so out of the house I walked, scared by the bears for sure. Maybe that day I learned a lesson, to walk alone no more.